How's it going everyone? My name is Azarus, and welcome back to some more Incredibox. We are going to be moving on to the second version of Colorbox, but before we begin, I would like to share with you some fan art that was posted on the Discord server. I'm going to be putting them in order from when they were posted. So first off, we got this one. I'm going to put it on the screen. This one is from Creeper. Absolutely love it. Dude, look at the gleam on the sunglasses too. I think that's I think that's awesome. Second one coming in from D6 Ian. I'm sorry if I completely slaughtered that. But we got Bredzerus. Bred Bredzerus? Braz Brazerus? I mean, come on. This one is perfect. Me as bread. We got a third one coming in from Ray. This one is absolutely crazy the amount of detail put into this artwork is astonishing like i i said it in chat too i i literally have no words and it looks like i'm about to make an intro too <laughs> we got a fourth one coming in from magic bunny star honestly seeing the different styles that you come up with impresses me i really love that one too we got another one coming in from local kiwi this one again with the details crazy this one was based off of the red version of color box and also got me wearing the sweatshirt too absolutely love it we have another one coming in from sebuscus i had to go with that name because the main name was a symbol i don't know i don't know what symbol that is <laughs> again absolutely love the detail to these they even got me wearing the white sweatshirt which i was wearing in the downtown uh, intro all right we got one coming in from jal or j-a-l shocked how fast this was created and that one was based off of the red thumbnail that i had for the video again absolutely love it moving on to the last one coming in from eef oh my god oh my god literally have no words at all for this like just look at the lighting on it the red and the blue sorry i'm looking at it on the monitor right here even got me with a nice cut and the put oh my god it absolutely amazing all right let me calm down i definitely want to continue posting those in the beginning of my videos like being honest seeing all those literally like makes my whole year either way thank you so much for your artwork let's move on to the second version of color box which is orange so again i have no idea what this mod's gonna sound like uh, i see an orange Okay. Sorry, that was like the first thing I just came to. I'm gonna go over every single polo, then the beats, effects, melodies, and voices, and then make it a nice beat. So either way, let's take a look at the first beat's description. I'm actually kind of curious. Ooh. Again with the nice music, I love that. So starting off, we have Orion, age 22, gender male. He is a big artist with an even bigger appetite. Orion is a famous rapper in the Metropolis, while also known for being in commercials involving the orange fruit. He's a pretty chill guy to hang out with, friendly and also funny. Only gets mad if there's a good reason for it. He also takes part in the competitive eating. Okay. All right, let's listen to beat one. All right, not a bad beat one. We got the classic beats in there. It's not anything crazy. It's not anything super special. Moving on to the second beat, we got Vic, age 19, gender male, a visitor touring the metropolis while also getting some cool things they offer there. He'd been nice enough to get one of Tangi's drawing shirts. Not many weeks later, he had decided to move and live there. So I'm guessing this is based inside the metropolis. So I'm guessing the second beat is going to be some claps. Let's hear it. I'm like magic, right? It's like crazy how I knew that. Moving on to beat three, we got Sai, age 20, gender male. Sai works at a juice place, from fruits to vegetable juices. He can also sometimes be goofy and always wears a mini top hat on his head. He can get really upset if you take it off without permission. He's pretty much the equivalent of a man child, though he's very responsible around the machinery at his job. I'd, I'd hope so. You don't want an incident. Beat three, let's hear it. Okay, I was gonna guess the hi-hats. I forgot to say it though. Pretty spot on, pretty nice so far. I feel like the next few ones are gonna be kind of interesting. Moving on to beat four, we got Bug, age 11. Bug was made to be able to watch over the Metro at extreme heights. They like bird watching if ever bored. They've done a great job catching any bad people. Don't touch its wings or antenna. It has very small wings. Okay. Beat four, let's hear it. That one is actually pretty cool. Not a bad beat at all. And the animation was pretty cool too. Moving on to beat five, the one who's upside down, interesting. Name is Alex24, gender male. Alex has grown a love with handstanding and always does it whenever he goes out. 
I can see. He's surprisingly flexible too. He's able to perform most tasks whilst handstanding, with some harder than others and some to the point where he can't do them. The last beat here, the triple dots. All right, I know this guy loves handstands, but damn, your beatboxing is nice too, and I love that echo. Moving on to effect one, the orange. It's literally an orange with a drawn on face. <laughs> All right, name is Tangy, age 14. Tangy has their own place where they draw on shirts with their creativity. Oh, is that what one of the beats, he bought one of the shirts from uh, Tangy? Oh yeah, yeah, people like Vic have bought and worn them, though their drawing skills aren't that great. They tend to be nice while some may help to give feedback to them. All right, moving on to the effects. Now we get the orange. Again, I really enjoy when the bass when the first effect vibrates my soul. And that's what that one just did. Solid start to the effects. I went on to this orange spacesuit. Name is Astro. Somehow I'm not surprised. Age 39. Astro loves to explore space and discover anything new. Maybe like a planet or even species. Everyone will always gather around the rocket that he's in and wish him a good luck on whatever trip he's doing. Considered as an idol by everyone. I'd like to discover some planets and species. Effect 2. I, I do remember his name. His name was Astro. He loves to travel. Also sounds really good. I can see why he's popular. Moving on to the Belle. Oh my. Her name is Belle. Age six. Gender female. Belle was built by Lilic and Sia when they considered wanting a child. But this was the closest thing at the time. Belle can only communicate with rings, but is full of energy all the time and loves to play. Is friendly with Andy. We haven't met Andy yet. Moving on to Belle. That is definitely a bell. Reminds you of a certain type of mod that may or may not have the name bell in it. Moving on to effect four. Oh, okay. So this is Sia, age 35, gender female. Sia runs a daycare at the Metropolis, having some xylophone headgear so she can make some music with it for the kids. Cautious and caring in a relationship with Lilic. Effect four. The xylophone is also another instrument that I really love hearing. I don't know if I've heard it in many mods. Moving on to effect five. Name is, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Age 19, gender demi-male. Oin is basically a human that's part cat. He has a mysterious black substance covering his left arm and legs. I think that's supposed to be legs? Resembling soft fur of a cat. Though his right arm is still human, along with him having cat ears rather than human ears, they tend to switch between being serious to playful. He has a brother named Ogan. Effect 5, the closed eye. I wonder how that's gonna sound with the other bass. Moving on to the melodies, we got Melody 1. Okay, this polo is Lilic, age 32, gender female. Lilic is a scientist working with discovering new species or even bacteria, maybe cures as well. She's an expert with machinery. She also experiments in her labs to test anything else. She also makes sure that everything is perfect and is in a relationship with Sia. Okay. All right, moving on to the melodies now, Melody 1. Honestly, a pretty nice start to the melodies. Moving on to the, I don't, what is, a guitar? Name is String H5. String is a robot built by Lilic. With it being her second attempt, it's basically a living string instrument. It shows two eyes with orange pupils and such. It can't speak, but it can play you a nice song if you want it to. It was programmed to be able to play a hundred plus different songs with its strings. Sorry, if you see me start laughing, it's because it takes me a couple tries to read that sentence. And it's like super simple. Let's move on to the string. I forget what this one is called. All right, let's, let's hear it. I 
I'm excited to see what that one's gonna sound with everything else. All right, for Melody 3, you got Andy, age nine. Andy lives at the daycare where Sia works at, as they're an orphan and have nowhere else to really go. He has ADHD and tends to make a lot of sounds, and he is friends with Belle. Let's move on to the headphones. <laughs> The melodies are actually sounding really good. So far, a pretty big step up from the last version. All right, so I realized while I was editing that I completely forgot to go over this guy's uh, description. So his name is Ogan, age 25, gender male. Ogan is a strange one. He has multiple eyes hidden under his hair and prefers to keep it covered at all times. He has a brother named Oin. I, I still don't know how to say his name, but all right. Moving on to Melody 4. Getting, we're getting a little bit of creepiness in here. We got the we got the eyes. Okay, kind of reminds me of a a few mods actually that include eyes. All right, moving on to the Game Boy. Okay, uh, name is Game Kid H4. While promoting the Game Kid console around four years ago, Game Kid was created as a family mascot for them. It is basically an anthropomorphic version of the console. Very playful around anyone, basically childlike and enjoys all games. They communicate with beeping or with text on its screen. Moving on to the Game Kid, yeah. Also a nice melody. That one definitely reminds me of uh, the setbacks version. They kept on having one of the, it was like a computer polo uh, that kept on coming back to each version. Moving on to the voices, we got Cone, Colin, age 21, gender male. Colin works with traffic and looks out in the metro for any danger whilst trying to keep anyone safe. He usually keeps his head mildly hidden from wearing a traffic cone. He's a very sad person, however, and everyone seems to hate him, and he doesn't know why. Finds it hard to interact with anyone, struggles with social and separation anxiety. I kind of feel bad. Let's hear voice one. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Fantastic start to the voices. But yeah, and he was he was the one polo that everyone didn't like. Moving on to the robot. That design is wild. Name is Speed Limit H20 gender female. Speed Limit works alongside Colin with traffic safety, making sure that cars aren't going too fast. But due to how big the metropolis is, Speed Limit had made multiple speed limits like herself, but were lifeless unlike her. Voice number two. Oh my god, that was that was interesting. Definitely a solid voice. All right, moving on to the TV. Name is TV, age three. TV was made just to show what the Metropolis has to offer. Acts young, very friendly, but tends to disturb people's private space. Um, voice three. Yeah, and it seems like there's a sixth voice. M -E -M -E -M -E -M -E Metropolis. All right. Well, if you haven't known already, we are in the Metropolis. Moving on to the second to last voice. Name is Oge. I don't know. Age 48, gender male. Not much known about him. We just found him one day. Might be related to Ogin or Oin. I don't know. So let's see how voice number four sounds. Solid voice, but that one reminds me of Apollo. And I don't know what version or what mod it was from. Just keep that in mind. Moving on to the last one. The last voice name is J, age 32, gendered male. J was a popular entertainer with his specialty being juggling. People of all ages had loved him because of how caring he was. But one day, a pandemic had occurred in Metropolis and he, along with everyone else, had to be isolated in his home. He'd later go insane after a few months. Yeah, um, that kind of reminds me of a situation that happened in real life. Last voice here, I think those are eyeballs.
that one was weird. Yeah, that one was uh, definitely weird. So let's check out this uh, last poll here. I, hopefully it's not copyrighted, sir. That was, that was crazy. Okay, I, I need to make sure I implement that. Hopefully it fits. In the first version, the extra polo for that one did not fit with the whole song. All right, let's check out the beats now. Yo, the beats are solid. I was a little shaky on the first two. I heard the first two, but then the third one put them all together. And then the fourth one was a great addition. The fifth one, and then the sixth one just went crazy. Moving on to the effects now. So much, so much bass going on there. Definitely a nice set of melodies. And like I said, I'm, I really enjoy that bass that just vibrates your soul. So let's move over to the melodies. Again, not bad, not bad at all. I like the introduction to the strings. I love the introduction to the game kid, not the game boy. So on that note, let's move over to the voices. This one was absolutely amazing. Okay, the other ones I thought were a bit shaky at times, but when I put them together, hear me out, when I put them together, they were great. So on that note, let's make a beat.
honestly, really good. A lot of people were saying I was going to like the second version, and I definitely did. I think one of the things I loved best about this mod was you can use the beats here and they give you a certain type of beat, a kind of slower pace beat, or you can use the hidden beat down here, which gives you obviously a much faster pace. Obviously there's certain polos I really enjoyed, including, like I said, voice, voice one, like set the whole mood. And honestly, after hearing this mod, I am super excited to see the future versions. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed because I certainly did. I am curious to see what you guys think about this mod, so definitely leave it down in the comments. Also, again, I really appreciate the members and I really appreciate the people who've come to the Discord. It's honestly, it's honestly really chill so far. It's really nice. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.